OK, he's most famous for big hair and bigger guitar solos, but Sir Brian May is hoping to top the charts in another field that he's had a lifelong passion for. The Queen guitarist holds a PhD in astrophysics from Imperial College and now has co-written a book which explores the galaxies in 3D for the very first time. Rex Martel went to meet him at the Museum of Brands in Notting Hill. Let's talk about Islands in Infinity, your book. Can we do the hard sell? Yeah. <laughs> so what's it, what's it about? It's about galaxies. It's, it's subtitled Galaxies 3D. So the universe actually is filled with these things. What astounds me here, this is one of the very latest pictures of a couple of galaxies in deep space. You see, you've got a couple of galaxies here, very beautiful. And you think, well, this is nice star background, right? It's not stars. These are all galaxies. And you're talking about something like 100 billion galaxies in the observable universe each with billions of stars in. It's mad. It's almost too much to compute. You can't take it in, can you? So that's what the book is about, but it's also about seeing them. And know. the magic happens with this thing. I designed this, but I didn't invent 3D. That was uh, Charles Wheatstone in 1832. But this is my little viewer. This is one of the versions of my owl viewer. And it takes a while to sort of get into view. I did it before. It takes like 10 seconds. Yeah, there's a technique to it, really. You have to basically relax. That's what it's about and imagine that you're looking through binoculars to infinity and you line up on one of these pairs of pictures in the book like this and you get to the point where it's in focus and suddenly just relaxing like looking through the book you will see this in 3D and I usually get that wow from people which I love. We're all about wow. Talk about from stars to the stage, you're still still rocking. Last week was it with Benson Boone? Yes. At the O2, what was that like? It was a blast, I've got to say. I think Benny Boone is a sensational performer. So for me to get on there and play Bohemian Rhapsody, which I should know how to play by now, it's a joy. That's exactly the kind of stuff I love to do. Is this the real life? And Bohemian Rhapsody's 50. Indeed. Can you imagine that? Why is it endured so much? Why is it so special? I mean, it's the big question, isn't it? Why is Bohemian Rhapsody so special? I think it's because it always remains fresh. It's very complex. Great stroke of genius from Freddie who mapped it all out. Um, I'm not saying we didn't contribute, we did. <laughs> but you know, it's a monument to Freddie's imagination. I think. Have you been listening to any of the AI music? There's actually an hmm. AI soul version of Bohemian Rhapsody. Have you heard it? No problem. I've got it here. Do you want to hear it? OK. It's kind well, of hard a... to dislike it. <laughs> I mean, I think that's very creative from what I can tell. It's not a bad thing and it's not pretending to be something it's not. I think what's worrying is when you put stuff up which bends the truth. Um, so what's next for you? Are you going to get back on stage? Well, I'm taking my time because we've done 50 years of touring. Can't say never, but for now, I'm happy doing the little things that I can do. So I'm a happy man at the moment and I can see my family. It means a lot. Superb. Thank you for being such a good sport and no, doing no, it. No, no, I love it, love it. This Thank is you. a true Thank gentleman you. here. This is a true legend. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you so much. Thank you.